excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, and a place to be for a Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. And we're talking about SmackDown. Happy holidays, folks. December 22nd, 2023. We got Graves, Cole, Patrick, KP on commentary. We started off with AJ Styles. He's the lone wolf. He's heel. He is not messing around. He wants Roman Reigns. So does L.A. Knight and Randy Orton. They all come out. You know, they all have beef with the bloodline, and they all have a... a, They need to face Roman Reigns for what he's done to each and every one of these uh, three. And Nick Aldis comes out. He's like, hey, I understand 100%. I understand completely. You know, I... You know, he goes, in two weeks at New Year's Revolution, it will be the three of you... Will face each other, and whoever wins that match is going to face Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. You know, and I was like, "Ooh!" But I don't. I I I just have a prediction here. I have a prediction that ain't gonna happen. The match is gonna end in pure brawl, DQ. You know, something DQ. Something's gonna stop the match to where they're gonna fight, and then Nick Aldis says, "Fine." Fatal Four Way Royal Rumble AJ Styles LA Knight Randy Orton and versus Roman Reigns. I that's that's my prediction there for that match. Uh, we have the Holiday Havoc match Bianca Belair, Meechan, Zelina Vega, and Shotzi versus Damage Control. Um, and out of nowhere, and Fire and Dawn come out of the packages. You know, this was a fun match. This was um, I would say this was my match of the night. I really enjoyed. Uh, well, there's a few matches of the night, but this one. I um I had a lot of fun with damage control looking great when they come out I was like damn you know these 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 guys look awesome but uh fire and dawn pretty much helped damage control lose this match for Bianca Meech and Zelina and Shotzi Zelina got missed <laughs> and pumpkin pie but I think it's pumpkin pie in the face or it was just pie but um yeah, uh, Jimmy and Solo are backstage, and Jimmy's hyping up Solo. He's like, come on, ah, and then it cuts to Roman Reigns and Paul on the couch, and Roman just has this disgusted look. He's like, oh, come on, yeah. And he's like, hey, Paul, who, who who's the SmackDown general manager? And he goes, Nick Aldis, sir. He goes, get me this Nick Aldis. I need to speak to him, because uh, he ain't really happy right now with what Nick is doing, but... I enjoy that confrontation between the two. North American Championship, Dragon Lee versus Butch. <laughs> so good. So good. Butch, you know, he's he's got some fight in him. And this match proved it, man. I, I really enjoyed this match, this match right here. And Dragon Lee looking looking awesome. And you can see, like, the, the crowd really... Uh, connecting and reacting to him, and also Butch too. I think Butch is a solo competitor. Is, is pretty good. Just get them, get the Seamus music out of there, and let's get them back to being Pete. Let's let, let, let Butch be Pete. Hashtag Butch be Pete. I want, I want him to go back to that. And then we have Roman and um, Nick Aldis backstage on the couch, and Roman's like, "Hey, you know, you you approve this match?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Okay," and Nick took some jabs at our tribal chief. <laughs> he says, "Solo." has done a beat down John Cena so bad, beat him more than you ever did. I was like, damn, Nick, what are you, you starting some with Roman? And he's like, hey, man, you know, you, you know, uh, what's it called? He goes, Adam's a middle management. I'm the general manager. And the buck stops here, Roman. What I say goes, and Roman doesn't like that at all. Roman doesn't like that at all. And Nick could just put his, put his feet on the ground and said, nope. This is my show, Roman. Sorry, tribal chief or not. Things are going to go down the way it's going to go down. Roman didn't like that at all. You can tell in his face. Uh, United States semifinals tournament match. Kevin Owens versus Carmelo Hayes. Oh, so good. (laughs) This is another great match. This was just packed with just a bunch of great matches just to end the year. Um, It it was announced on this show that um, Monday Night Raw will be uh, best of 2023. I hope. I wonder if SmackDown will be or unless they pre-recorded a bunch of SmackDown stuff. 
I know they probably pre-recorded a bunch of NXT stuff to give everybody a break. You know, this is their time of the year. They can be with their families and everything like that because, you know, it's New Year's and Christmas and all that. So Kevin Owens got the win over Carmelo Hayes. It was, like I said, this match was really, really fun. But Logan sends more video messages. He did that and uh, he's like, hey, you know, <laughs> there was this one. I think it was the second match he did this too. But he says, uh, hey, you know, um, if Reddit was a person, it would be Kevin Owens. I was like, <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> Man's got the zingers. AJ Styles backstage. Meechin comes up. He's like, you're back. And the good brothers come up. And he's like, are they like, are you back? Can we trust you? And he's like, I don't know. And he walks off because he's so moody now. He's all dressed in black. And he's just like, get away from me. I'm moody AJ Styles, you know. Uh, we have Karrion Cross package and the uh, uh, authors of pain joining Karrion Cross, I think we saw them in the video there, Scarlet as well, you know, uh, I think this is going to happen, I really do, I think this is going to be uh, a thing, I was never really the biggest fan of the Authors of Pain though, so, you know, but it's, if, if, if it gives Karrion Cross some new motivation to move in a new direction, I'm all for it, let, let, let's bring it on, let's bring it on, let, let's see where we go with Karrion Cross, Authors of Pain, and Scarlet, let's see what they can do together as a team. But uh, U.S. semifinals tournament, next match, Bobby Lashley versus Santos Escobar. Not what I thought. Santos won because, oh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Humberto and Angel, they come out in Lucha Mass. They come out and help. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I, ah. <laughs> I just, I, I, like, they were doing fine in NXT, but they get pushed upon us so many times. And now, they're going to be pushed upon us again with Santos Escobar and, you know, the new, this new group. And I'm like, my notes right here exactly says, because <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like Humberto. I like Angel. Like, but they keep trying to get like, here, here. You like, huh? Now he's there. Now there was Santos, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> well, before this match too, we have more Logan video messages. You know, uh, talking about Bobby. So now in the finals is going to be Kevin Owens versus Santos Escobar. And I'm just like, hmm. I, I am guessing in two weeks at New Year's Revolution, uh, we're going to get uh, Kevin Owens is going to win that match. And he is going to go on to face Logan Paul at the Royal Rumble. That's my prediction there. Or Santos is going to go all the way because I think we've been building Santos quite a bit. And now he has two goons by his side. Ugh. Butch backstage gives him a fight with Pretty Deadly. Nick says, hey, in two weeks at uh, New Year's Revolution, you know, you need to find a partner and you can take on Pretty Deadly. And I'm like, no partners. Have them take them both on. Why not? Let Butch butcher <laughs> Pretty Deadly in two weeks. Logan Paul promo package. You know, I, you could. it was funny. He's like, I could tell this was pre-taped, but he already knew the outcome. Kevin Owens, Santos, you know, you have you have nothing on me. You You have nothing because I am the United States champion. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm already calling it Kevin Owens and Logan Paul at the Royal Rumble. That's a big match. Or Santos Escobar. Oof. I, you know, it's, I, I know it's going to be Kevin. It has to be Kevin, right? Uh, main event, AJ Styles versus Solo. He's not barefoot. When did this become a thing? I looked at my notes because he came out, he had the boots on. I was like, oh, no barefoot Solo, huh? All right. Um, no one won this match because Roman attacked. Then here comes Randy, then here comes Jimmy, then here comes LA Knight, and they get the bloodline out of there and everything like that. So, uh, big fight, and I like what happens with uh, LA Knight. I mean, um, AJ Styles, he goes, he's like, hey, what the hell are you guys doing, blah, blah, blah. Then they start getting in the fight. Then they all, Randy, LA Knight, and AJ Styles all start battling each other. And uh, Jimmy was about to jump back in, but uh, Roman was like, no, 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 let them tear each other apart. And that's the way we end the show. It's where we end this SmackDown December 22nd, 2023. Happy holidays from the WWE. And they're going to go take a week off and, uh, you know, recharge. Recharge those batteries. And we have a big week in uh, the new year for WWE. They got um, day one for Raw. They got New Year's Evil for NXT. And they got the New Year's Revolution. Um, it's, it's, it's heating up. It's heating up. So... Honestly, favorite match of the night, Bianca Belair, Michin, Zelina Vega, Shotzi versus Damage Control. That was really fun. I'm curious about Fire and Dawn, where we're going to go with them and Damage Control. Second match is Dragon Lee versus Butch. 
That was so good. Kevin Owens and Carmelo Hayes, great stuff. Five out of five. Good way to end this year on a good note. We'll see what happens next week. I'm, I'm guessing we're either going to get another best of 2023 type show or we're going to get pre-recorded stuff because we're building to New Year's New Year's Revolution. So, And day one. Well, not day one for, the, for SmackDown, but you get what I'm saying. Tell me what you think of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB the Sexy Ninja. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo. More logos on the way. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Randy Orton wants Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. <laughs>